What's up, everybody? So I've come to the conclusion that I'm an idiot because when I'm, <laughs> I don't know why I put 10 a.m. So I just went back through and re-edited my uh, my posts in Facebook to reflect 9 a.m. Because your boy is an idiot. <laughs> What's up, Mary, Jeanette, Kenneth? What's up, Ren? Yeah, we're a little early. But I started gluing up some of the stuff here, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and kick it off. <clears throat> What's up, Luke? Been doing good. How you doing? Been doing good. Glue sniffer, what's up? That's that's irrelevant that you're that's uh, relevant that you're here because I'm actually got glue going on, and I'm smelling glue right now. <laughs> How appropriate is that? Yeah, Jeanette, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I don't know what I was. I swear to God, I don't know what I was thinking. I think. I was I'm, I had in the back of my brain because I normally post my videos at 10 a.m. during the week, so maybe I just had that in my brain. Yeah, brain fade. <clears throat> yeah, most people probably ain't even up yet. <laughs> I'm gonna glue this uh, this one last one up here, and then we'll uh, we'll chat a little bit. You can smell it. Hey, this uh, this contact adhesive, yeah, I've got a fan going over there. It's um, it's pretty potent, po potent. You're in, you know, you got to make sure you got well ventilated area, and I do, but um, yeah. So I went to Lowe's this morning, 6 a.m. Literally was the only person in Lowe's other than the people that was working there today. Picked up some uh, some supplies for today. <sighs> Brain fart, yep. Um, picked up some supplies. Picked up some uh, sandpaper and... Had to get some more contact adhesive because I ran out. Picked up some dirt. Picked up some wheelbarrow handles. Picked up a new bird feeder. Yeah. Going to be planting some after the stream this morning. I'm actually going out. Me and my wife, we're going to be planting some herbs today. <clears throat> Charlie, you know, it's um, in my area. Um... There's not a ton of traffic. It's mainly trucks. But I I will agree to a certain certain level. I think you're right on that. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. That's right. Hey, Jeanette, we're going to open up your box. Right there. I think this is your box. <laughs> I'm going to open it up. It's out of quarantine. <laughs> oh my goodness so you guys know I showed you guys I'm making some uh, sanding stick so, so we got some 80 grit going on right now because this weekend uh, it's supposed to be like crazy rainy tomorrow crazy rainy so uh, I'm going to be working on the old uh, helmet and uh Think gonna be the part two video. I'm gonna shoot it tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna be doing some sanding, and um, hopefully, we'll be putting on the uh, primer primer coats. So that's right. David, big dog, what's up? That is true. I'm I'm relatively uh, careful when uh when I do. I mowed the yard last night. Stirred everything up. Nice, Chris. <laughs> That's all right. I understand that. What's up, Jay Lee? So, yeah. 
We're uh, making some uh, sand and sand and sticks. And if you've never made any of these, I highly recommend it. It's a uh, really cheap, inexpensive way to uh, make some basically some flat sanding sanding sticks. That gives you a uh, good flat surface. Now, <clears throat> I'm using this, but I thought I brought it up here. I was going to show you guys. Did I not bring it up here? No, I didn't bring it up here. Uh, spray adhesive works works really good. Um, but in for an area like this, if you're just doing it inside, uh, the paint on adhesive. But so yeah, so right there you got a good flat 80 grit sanding surface. It's like a big emery board. So yeah, only thing you need is uh, painter sticks. These are like a buck for 10 of them and a pack of sandpaper and the ones that I've got is 80, 120, 120 and 320 so you can actually run the whole gambit on your uh, and one sheet of paper just so you know so I got two sides and that's what's left over out of one so you could actually do two and a half for one square you can do two and a half no, one and a, you can do one and a half sides, two sticks, one and a half sides. So if you only did one side, you could do literally three three sticks. But I'm a big fan of doing um, double sided. That way, you know, you can alternate. So yeah. So hopefully, if everything goes well, tomorrow <clears throat> we'll be uh, sanding on this bad boy. So let's see here. Let's do a dry run. Matias, what's up? So the beauty of the stick is you can treat it like a file. And you can basically just like, ooh, that's, oh, that's slick. Oh, heck yeah. And I also got a dowel rod that'll fit here in this corner. I'm going to put some sandpaper on that, but. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I'd maze myself. <laughs> sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Uh, we're also going to this morning. Yeah, I'm, I don't do none of that up here. That's, that's downstairs. So you guys saw my uh, my review video on Stylize, which uh, they actually reached back out to me and actually want to work with me. And I was like, what? No way. So uh, the pop that was made to me, this custom pop, I, I was going to do it Tuesday night during the three-pack stream and didn't get around to it, so I'm going to do it today. I mean, it's a pop of me, right? And I got blue eyes. So right there, custom pop right there. And I pulled out a set of stylized blue eyes. So we're gonna customize it. I actually got to see my buddy Matias the other day. Um, he came by work and it was hilarious. Me and him both were masked up. We were about 12 feet apart. <laughs> and uh, um, I had to get him that box for Darren. So uh, it was really good to see him. Really good to see him. First time we've seen each other in five weeks, give or take. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to... Let me look at my... Checking out my... Oops, hello, squirrel. I'm checking out my Black Widow. I want to see how I did the eyes on it. Boom. I think they do, Mary. I think they uh, they take it up a level uh, to where they just make it look cooler. But that's just, uh, that's just me. I mean, you know. That's just me. It's not for everybody. I got some, I got some good comments on it. Um, 
you know, some people some people dig them, some people don't. But um, it's a it's a great option for certain pops. Jada, what's up? I will admit though, it's it it's one of those things where you, you sort of play with it, figure out what works best. So I'm, that's what I'm doing right now is figuring out which way works best. I think that way. And what I do is I lightly put them on there first before I actually put them all the way down. And I personally suggest if you use these, um, take a knife blade or something, put it on the tip like that boom makes it makes it a lot easier makes it a lot easier to uh, position all right let me pop that off oh yeah go ahead and get that smooth down need to make this one come in a little closer There we go. I think that's good right there. Yep. So now I got blue eyes now. Ooh, boom. Right there. Yay. So much better. So now my custom pop is complete. It's complete. What's up, Christian? Yeah, theoretical. I was an idiot when I first went on and posted that. I had my brain 10 o'clock. That's what I put in the post. But then I went back and edited all the posts. <laughs> I'm telling you, my whole world is so bass backwards now. Like everybody's. It's, uh, it's crazy. Got that back in those shoe me pop protector. Yes. Boom! Look at there. We've 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 made a we made some sand sticks, customized a pop. And this it ain't we and we still got a whole hour left to chit chat and talk and whatever else we want to do. Thanks, Chuck. Uh, uh, Jeanette, that's a good question, and honestly, it's a um. It's not as easy as you think to do that. It's really not. Um, it's I'm actually. Uh, it's a learning process to get the technology set up. Um, you got to have your computers or phone. I mean, it's yeah, yeah. I thought about it. Charlie, you know what? That's a that's a great point, cause I that's the same way with me. Like a lot of times when, uh, like some of the channels, well, a lot of the channels I follow, sometimes I get notifications, sometimes I don't when they when they go live. Yeah, it's weird. Two flowers, what's up? Luke, lighting, lighting, bro. Lightning's uh, you got you got options. I mean, as far as I mean, you can do something as simple as I mean, at the end of the day, let's just think about this. You can use this to light your cell phone if you're not using your cell cell phone for uh, the actual photograph. I'm a big fan of natural light, um, especially indoors, get windows, set things up. I know like in, say in this room here, there's not a tremendous amount of natural light. Uh, flashlights, everybody's got a flashlight. Desk lights, the desk lights that have the curved neck, you can still find them too that you can adjust the neck on them. It's got like a cone, work great. Uh, you can go to um, uh, Ace Hardware, Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, even Walmart—they make these. Uh, they're silver uh, lights with a 
with a clamp on them. I cannot remember what they're. It's like a clamp light, but it's got a silver dome on it. Light bulb. Put you an LED bulb in it. You can take on the front side of it if you want to diffuse it. You can take a uh, white cloth, put over it. That'll diffuse it. Those are great. Those are great uh, light sources because you can adjust them. Um, I actually have one downstairs on my bandsaw. But uh, you can take just a simple tripod like this and clamp it to the tripod, move it in and out. Um, they're literally, I mean, man, that's a good question. Um, but yeah, lighting is not as difficult as you think. It's really not. Because think about it. It's a whole lot harder to light a full person than it is to light a four inch Funko Pop or a six inch figure or even a six, six scale figure. Because the, the principles are the same. They're identical. There's no different than lighting this than there is lighting a person. No difference. It's just scale. So, boom. Uh, play with it. Uh, but if you can find, like, natural light, let's see if I can, let's see if we can demonstrate this real quick. All right. So we got a pop. All right. So we got a pop. Now I've got two LED lights here in front of me, plus I got the overhead light. But you see how the light hits this side of the face, but the opposite side is in shadow? Then you come up on top, you can move it forward. I mean, you can see how just as, I mean, just with all the lights I've got here, this cell phone light, how much light it puts on this pop. I mean, if you take it away, and as you move it away from it, watch how it gets closer. How harsher it gets so right there and you can do the same thing with an LED flashlight same thing I prefer LED um, dang it um, I prefer LED um, but bulbs work the same but I mean at the end of the day it's if you can go outside and shoot it, you still sometimes need light sources, but you know, at the end of the day, you can take something as simple as a flashlight and get exactly what you want. I've took a flashlight and took uh, toilet paper and put over the front of the flashlight that diffuses it. And what that means is it makes it softer. Um, I don't think, I don't think I have, yeah, this might work. All right, so like this foam right here. This foam actually works really good for flashlights. <clears throat> Sorry, my allergies are just tearing me up right now. So let's see here. Let's see if we can do... So basically, you got on my face right here. Oops, hello. Go away. I didn't want that. So we got it on the face with without diffusing with diffusing without with without with boom <laughs> but you can use uh, like I said this this foam right here is great to make small little diffusing panels and so like right there is one layer now you got two layers of diffusion and three layers of diffusion. So this one little 12 inch piece of foam, that will adjust your lighting three times from a cell phone. So, boom. But yeah, if any, you can DM me, uh, Instagram, Facebook, if, there's, if you have any questions. I get a lot of, I actually have several people a, a week um, reach out and ask me questions like that. Wrapping paper, yeah. You can use colored paper if you're looking uh, like um, for a, a reds and blues. You can get like gel paper. That works great. Oh, the loom. Oh, the loom cubes. Yeah, I've got the loom cubes now. I, my set came with the little rubber piece that goes on it, and there was like a, a white one and a yellow one. If yours has the white rubber piece, that is the. Uh, 
diffuser works great um, I love the loom cubes loom cubes are awesome because you can adjust how much light goes into them so yeah what up Kent Pool? Kent Pool, we uh, we made some sand and sticks we put some blue eyes on my custom pop we've been talking about lighting so yeah but now that you're here Nice Jetta. Da, da, da. Yeah, I've actually got some boxes that came out of quarantine. So uh, I actually had a. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, uh, I can't remember who it was, but somebody made a comment about how I was being stupid, basically, for quarantining my packages, and I just got tickled. Things like that make me laugh. It make me giggle. <laughs> make me giggle. Oh, and I'm also um, picked up some pieces. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you noticed I got some uh, new foam in. So I'll finally be able to finish up my uh, Wester 35. And, and, there's something else I got coming that, it, that's like this. So. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do an actual unboxing video on that. Um, uh, Chris, I know during the holiday seasons, uh, especially Christmas time, you can get red and green Saran wrap. Um, so, and sometimes you can still find it in the stores. I, I've seen red before. The green knows a little hard to find. Uh, Heck yeah, that's right, Mary. Well, it's one of those things to where it's like, you know, you. it's just the nature of the beast right now, you know? I, this, this, is, this, is, this is my wife's domain, her rules, <laughs> and I agree with them, you know? I agree with them, so. May the foam, yes. What, Darren? <laughs> that must be some good, good deli meat. Uh, Blair, uh, I've actually, I have that sort of in the back of my brain. Um, older, I mean, I've got four rolls of foam that came in. Um, I've actually got some plans for, um, possibly I gotta I gotta think about it. I've got that full length uh, DC 15 blaster that I want to do um, but I've also got some uh, chest armor template for a heavy mando that I'm thinking about doing so I don't know yeah colored cellophane hey I'm, I'm look I'm guys I'm loving I'm loving this this is so freaking much fun it's so much fun I mean I mean we got the Wester 35 we got Captain Rex we got this bad boy I mean I'm so digging this right now it is so much fun you have no idea how much fun it is to, to make these things. So, yeah. Uh, next photography video. I actually have a video i done. I was going to release it this week. Um, I mean, I did a, so I did a photography video on nothing but using a GoPro as the camera. Nothing. That's all I used for the camera was my GoPro. Um, I'm going to revisit it and look at it again just to make sure that I like it, but it turned out good. I liked it, but I don't, I want to make sure that I, I covered all the bases cause I have to watch it again because I'm, I'm hoping that I covered all the bases. Um, but yeah, definitely going to be doing uh, more of those because those are actually fun to do. Um, I've got some new figures that's coming in. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some reviews. Um, 
Oh, Odin makes. I, oh, Odin makes. That, that's the guy that I got this from. Was uh, Odin makes the heavy Mando because he's the only one that actually done a heavy Mando. So this is uh, inspired from Odin makes. No, I do not have any Masters of the Universe pops. No. Still working on that one, theoretical. That one, I'm actually the 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 the, the uh, Play Arts Mando that uh, Jetta got me for my birthday. I'm actually got it sitting right over there, and that's sort of the one I'm wanting to do. So I've got two video projects, two photography video projects in my right top of my brain. Number one is the tread speeders that I customized. Uh, I've got a lot across the street where they're supposedly going to build a house because my other lot I went to, they actually blocked it off. I can't get to it. Um, so I'm wanting to do a video on photographing those and also the Play Arts Boba. Nice, the Red Hood helmet. I've seen that one, Luke. It actually looks cool. I actually saw a really cool Deathstroke helmet. Um, there's another guy. Let me see if I can pull him up. I, I, I see him all the time. He, he actually likes a lot of my stuff. Stormtrooper templates. Uh, he's got an Etsy shop. Um, but he does some amazing uh, stuff. Uh, his, his helmets are very, very uh, unique. I mean, he's got Sith Trooper helmets, um, everything. There's a lot of detail. There's a lot goes into them. So I, I, um, Christian Alvarez, I think is his name, but I, I love his stuff. Deadpool, yeah. Sorry, I got a quarter. I've been playing with it all morning. But anyway, I'm going to open up Jeanette's box. Jeanette sent me a box. Send me a box, so we're gonna open it up. I've literally dulled this knife so bad, and I have a sharpening stone downstairs. And I was telling myself this morning that, uh, hey, hey, bro, you need to, uh, yo, Jay, what's up? You need to uh, sharpen your knife, bro. Let's take a peek. <laughs> Jeanette, look at you, look at you, <coughs> excuse me, you're so sweet, see, I was talking about this, and lo and behold, well, that's, it. now this is interesting, this is interesting, I have never seen sealed bubble wrap, it's like it's heat shrinked on both ends. What? Have you guys ever seen that before? I have never seen heat shrink or uh, heated or sealed bubble wrap. Wow, it's almost like it's uh, well, okay, it's in the, like in a, it's adhesive. Interesting. Where did this come from? I can't tell by the thingy. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. I always forget about these little these little notes here. Oh, <laughs> I got my little thank you note. I got my little thank you note right there. A gift for you. Enjoy your gift, Jeanette. Thank you so much. Uh, but I made a comment about this is one that I meant to pick up, but I didn't. I don't have like hardly any Walking Dead, but there's certain characters in this character. I love Walking Dead. This is I'm keeping this. This is that's some good stuff. There's certain characters uh, on Walking Dead that I like, and this was really one of them that uh, just stuck out with me. And it was Alpha, right there. I love this character. I don't, 
I mean, it was just some of, maybe it's because, you know, we have something in common. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is literally my first Walking Dead pop. This is my first and only Walking Dead pop. And it's going to get photographed today. Today! Oh, man. See, I knew it was going to look even better. Yes! I knew it. I wasn't for sure, but I was hoping it would. But check out the detail on this thing. That is so cool. Got the bloody knife right there. But he, here's the part that I was wondering about if it was if it was on here, and it is right there. We got the mass stitches. Boom! See, that's the cool thing. When I first saw this, and after seeing her character, I thought, man, I wonder if that's got that in there. And it does. Oh, and she's got her uh, her gun on her back right there. That's some cool, that's some cool detail. Heck yeah. Oh, Alpha. Yes. Um, I need to find out, did they make a beta? Because there's another character. Because beta, in case you didn't know it, is Opie from Sons of Anarchy. In case you didn't know it. But Jeanette, thank you so much for my Alpha Pop. Um, she is going to go out and get photographed today. Ooh. Ooh, oh, oh. man. I can put some eyes on her. I don't know, man. See, that's the thing. Like, with the stylized... Let me show you something. So, with the stylized, this particular pop here, I don't know if the stylized would work with it because the black eyes really work with this one. Really work with it. I'm not even putting her back in her box yet. Because she's going to go outside here in a minute. But let me... Let me take a look real quick. So they haven't... So Darren, they, have they not made a beta yet? I haven't personally seen one. So, But they do need to make a beta. There is a set of eyes that may work. But I don't know. They're zombie eyes. See you, Jeff. Thanks for stopping by. I love these little Ziploc bags. Because you know me. I bag and tag everything. But sometimes I just cannot find the edges. Let me see what we got in here. Alex, what's up? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. They're the zombie eyes. Ooh, no. We got some red eyes. Ooh. Ooh. Reds? Yeah. But yeah, I was really, uh, really happy. It was so funny. Um, I wasn't expecting it when Style Eyes reached back out to me. They really liked the video I did. And um, they want to work with me. So that was cool. So uh, they're sending me some, uh, some eyes. And I'm going to be putting that some of these with my 10k giveaway that I'm putting together I knew that I, I thought they was an unmasked beta not those I was thinking they was an unmasked or an unmasked alpha excuse me really Mary what, what, what pop did you get that was so so far the red eyes is winning the battle so far Oh, and the, the new style eyes, they actually, oh, here we go. The new style eyes actually comes with the uh, name of what it is on the card. Um, no, nah, I don't know about those. These, these are the zombie eyes. So far, I'm digging the red ones. If I put any on it, it might be the red ones. Zombie eyes, look they look cool, though, but I don't know. Cause she's not a zombie, though. <laughs> yeah, the, YouTube, YouTube, and income is a is a funny combination of wording. See, Blair. Yeah. You don't. 
colors of these. That's the brown ones. Brown ones, uh, maybe. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. Supply drop. Okay. Okay. I'm just... Yeah, okay. So there's those. So I can put the rest of these up. So we'll, we'll, do, we'll do an opinion. Because what I'll do is I'll probably do some before and do some maybe after. So let's, let's take a... We'll take a vote here. Nice, Charlie. Uh, other figures? I mean, as far as... Um, so... Here's the thing. She, Jen fell off. So if you guys have seen these, I mean, they look really good with the eyes on them. So I think Stylized is on to something with, uh, with this. And again, it's not for every single pop, but why not? So there's the reds. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably do some photos with and without Then here are, oh, I'm an idiot. I don't know why I pulled those out. I was thinking red or brown. And I put the browns up. I kept the purples. And I put them all back in so you know I ain't going to find them. Uh, let's see here. Dang, yellow might work too. Man, too many decisions. That's purple. That's purple. Don't want purple. Don't want purple. <laughs> yeah, I no. That's too many pops. I'm also going to. Um, I don't know how much I'll get done. Because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Um, but I also got another project that I'm gonna I'm gonna you know what I'm 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 gonna put it this way. I got there's a Star Wars Funko pop. Yes. The reds on the dark side ray would be nice. Yes. Hundred percent agree with that. So there's zombie. Let's see what these are again. That's yellow. Right, yeah, Jeanette. They, I, I'm surprised there's not one. It'd be cool to have a beta one, though. But I got a feeling that uh, now that, I'm not going to say, now that beta is more active, um, we might get one. I think those are brown. I'm trying to cheat and not have to take it out of the bag. Sometimes it... Okay, so... Yeah, so there's the browns right there. So we got brown. We got brown. We got... Red. And we got... Might as well... We're, we're just going to do this. I'm going to show you the, the choices. We got... Zombie... And these. Because we're not putting blue on her. What's up, peanut butter? Charlie, the, the next round they're doing, they actually put on the bags. This is like, because they've just got started. But the, they just showed me pictures. The, the next sets that are going out actually has what they are on the card or on the bag. And there's yellow. All right, so that's the choices. You guys are going to help me decide. I'm putting the rest of them up. So we got one more time. We got red. We got yellow. We got zombie. And we got brown. So you guys help me decide. But yeah, the the next the 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 next set's coming out. I don't know if it's actually on the card or if it's a tag on the bag. But 
they showed me, matter of fact, hang on a minute, I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Um, I thought they, oh, where did they send it to me at? Where did they do it at? I know they told me. Uh, maybe they just told me. All right, what do we got? Oh, we got you. Yellow or zombie. Yellow, brown, brown, brown. One brown, one red. Ooh. Yellow, zombie. So far, okay, so far, brown's winning. So far. Show the zombie eye. Zombie eye right there. Oops. Will it focus? Right there. And then brown. Yellow. And red. So yeah, it's uh we're gonna There we go. Boom, right there. Uh, so it looks like brown or yellow is, is leading the pack right now. I do like the idea of putting the reds on the dark side ray. That is a good idea. Alright, so if we went with yellow, there's yellow. I'm thinking brown. I'm leaning more towards the brown this too, but yellow looks good. Yellow looks good. I'm, I'm putting red up. Red's going up. I'm going to put red on dark side ray. Now I've got a reason to buy dark side. Matias, you're right. That does look like C-3PO's. Do I have a C-3PO? I think I do have a C-3PO. Wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Might take me a minute to dig it out, but I think I got one. I think. I don't know for sure. Let me dig. Let me dig. I got. I got all of my. Uh... Where is that? Sorry. Oh, there it is. I found it. But I also found something else that would look good with the red eyes. Since Matthias, uh, since Matthias is thinking C-3PO, I have a C-3PO right there. Let's take a look. I'm thinking you're right. I'm thinking, I'm thinking C-3PO right there. Stoner eyes, yeah, that's what they remind me of. But, I mean, that's legitimately, I mean, I don't know, you guys tell me, but that literally I think you're right those could actually work on C-3PO interesting interesting oh there it is but I did find something for the red eyes I'm actually going to put um, I'm putting these up a minute. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's see what they look like. Everybody's saying yelp, so let's do it. And besides, I don't know how old is this pop? I have no idea. It came from a bounties box, I think. 
I picked it up like at a clearance or for like two or three bucks. I don't remember what it was. But let's take a look. But I think that's the thing I love about this product is it gives you another level of entertainment for your Funko Pops. Okay, I will tell you this. This year pop right here, this is interesting. Because the eyes, the black area is bigger on this one than it is on see the stylized on the black widow covers the entire Popeye <laughs> Popeye but on this uh, particular C3PO the black eye area is actually bigger so this actually doesn't cover it all the way like it does on the newer pop but Hang on. That so made such a big difference. Oh my God. Look at this. That totally made that C3, C3PO look so much better. Yes. But you see how the black's going around the, the sticker? That's amazing right there. That's utterly amazing on how much better this pop looks and it actually looks like C-3PO now. Boom. It's a very easy way. It's a very easy way, but I don't know. You guys tell me, I think it looks better. I mean, that literally is, now it has expression, right? And it looks like C-3PO. Boom. So, yeah, but yeah, so, uh, so I'm, they're actually, uh, stylized is sending me some, uh, they're sending me some of their, their new eyes. Uh, so I'll be putting somebody's going to be get some of those. So in, uh, but in box right there, um, they're going to be getting some stylized with, uh, my 10 K giveaway. Now I need to find something real quick because I found another pop we're going to do. It does, Charlie. It does look good with the black area. All right. So I've already made So I made a decision. We're going to go with brown with uh, alpha. We're going to do brown. So I don't need these no more. But... custom pop sad thing about it is alright so we got red eyes right red eyes Star Wars pop boom what do you think Supreme Leader Snoke with red eyes I think will look cool I don't know you guys I'm gonna let you guys help me make the decision but Snoke with red eyes what do we think what's up Fritzy I'm sort of digging it definitely dark side Ray definitely but I'm sort of starting to dig it on uh, old Snokey here on Snokey Uh, yes, uh, Alex, they actually do come off. Uh, they come off very easily. Um, go to stylize.com and there's actually uh, really good videos and stuff on how everything works. <laughs> Kent, you're saying yellow eyes on Snoke? Really? Okay, let's look here. Let's, I got them right here. Blue eyes. I've used, I've used my blue eyes. Blue eyes on a Snoke. You yellow. Okay, okay. I haven't, yellow, okay. I can see it. 
There's yellow. Yellow or red? We're, we're going to customize another one. <laughs> uh, does anyone own a Hydra Toys Predator? A high, oh, a Hyatt Toys Predator. Make him a Sith. That's what I was thinking with the red. But, you know, people's talking yellow, too, so. Snokey. What up, Snokey? <laughs> All right, Jeanette saying red. Yellow. Okay, we got two, two yellows and a red so far. You guys are going to side. I've narrowed. We're going to do yellow or red. Ooh. Now we got. We're tied up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> hey, can anybody in here uh, tell me who uh, Noob Skywalker is? Ooh, yellow. Ooh, man, this is getting this is getting good here. Red, 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 gold. I don't have gold. I got yellow. Green, reds, reds, yellows. Wow. Hot. <laughs> I'm just curious if he let me know if he may can tell me who uh Noob Skywalker is. Hot pink. I don't have hot pink. Could do one yellow, one red. <laughs> Snokey the bear. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Pink with purple polka dots. That's funny too. Boom! Mama said pop you out. Look at that. Boom. Mama said pop you out. DM me your address. And I will send you, when I get them in, I'll send you some, uh, either some stylized stuff or I'll send you a mystery box for answering that question. So DM me, Mama said pop you out. And I'll send you something. I don't know what yet. I might send you a self-portrait. Signed. <laughs> uh, yellow snow <laughs> smoke has liver issues. Uh, let's see here. Man, this is this see this is a problem. This is the problem when you get these is determined like I said, Dark Side Ray, that's a no brainer. Uh I'm going I haven't done any I'm going with yellow. I'm going with yellow. I'm going with yellow. Boom. We're we're we're, we're going with yellow. We're doing it. Boom. <laughs> it was a it was an impromptu uh, trivia question. That's what it was, Ren. Impromptu trivia question. And Mama said, "Pop you out." Was the first one to answer the question. So they got something. Oh man. Also on these eyes, how you angle um, really create some really cool expressions. Sorry, I'm uh I'm, work, I'm working on this uh, expression right here. Boom. See you, Matthias. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost there. 
almost there. Okay. There he is. Yellow eyes right there. Oh. Got sort of the evil look going on right there with those yellow eyes. Boom. Nice. Definitely makes a difference. Definitely makes a difference. Customized Snoke. Oh, this is back when pops were cool. Is when they'd come off bases. <laughs> Gotta spend some long since I've actually seen a pop come off a base. <laughs> it just, it made such a difference. I mean, yeah. I wish, I wish Pop still would come off the bases. I really do. I enjoyed that. It lets you have a lot more freedom with your Funko Pops. Well, Sn Snoke is confused. Boom. But even in the box, it puts a good, it puts a good character to it. But I think so far the win is C-3PO with the zombie eyes. That's a win right there. That's a win. Boom. And we've got it narrowed down. We're going to do alpha with brown eyes. Yes. We scored. Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can see it. Oh, man, Jeanette. I still can't get over this. I'm going to have so much fun with this one. This will be fun. This will be fun. Now, here's the crazy thing. I need to, um, you know what? I told a fib. I do have, this isn't my first Walking Dead. I got the two-pack Negan and Carl from Books a Million. I might have to grab that one out and get Negan because I want to photograph the back right here and have a Negan like I'm going to use Black Widow as an example but you've got Alpha right here right and then you would have like Negan like this that would be that would be a cool that would be a cool photo right there because that way you'd get the detail right there what's up Rotten <laughs> Carl, yes, Carl. But yeah, um, but definitely, uh, like I said, when um, I'm actually, uh, I think I've got it narrowed down. Um, I've got one thing. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about it before we wrap things up. Uh, 10K is coming up. Um, where am I at right now? Let me look here. I'm like 370 from 10K. So this coming week, I'll probably make a 10K announcement video. Um, I have a, a box out here of some stuff that I bought. Um, some really cool Funko Pops. Um, but I'm also possibly thinking about doing like a, just a hodgepodge mystery box type thing like I did with my 5k and it's gonna have a little bit of everything in it Funko Pops maybe some Marvel uh, some pins some stylized so that's probably the route I'm gonna go is make it more of just a a collage of different things um, so yeah yeah but there'll definitely be some uh, some of these bad boys in it uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do hodgepodge. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take like sort of like one thing out of all the things that I like to collect. Put it in one box. What do you think about that? I think that's yeah, I like that idea. TNK Chick Fil A for everybody. <laughs> Man, I've not had Chick-fil-A in five weeks. I've not had any fast food or anything like that in five weeks. Seriously. Like nothing. 
I don't even know what Chick Fil A uh, even remotely tastes like anymore. Oh my God! Yeah, that's right, Luke. Is Red Hulk in it? Um, talking about this right here. I am still. They yeah, may, as you see, mine's still in the box. I think it would be uh, Funko Illuminati. I love that name, Illuminati. Uh, yeah, I'm with you on that, Darren. Yeah, it's crazy, you know. I mean, this whole, you know, COVID thing. I mean, it's like, I mean, they're talking about here in America that we're close. April 15th is supposed to be the peak. We'll see. Um, I don't know. I'm just sort of taking it one day at a time. Me personally, I'm thinking if we're lucky, um, end of May, maybe first of June, we might be able to start doing some, uh, normal stuff. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. You got Chick-fil-A right now? <sighs> Man, I've literally, seriously, have, I swear, I have forgotten what all that tastes like. I really have. <laughs> One thing I'll say about this whole pandemic thing, it seems like it's definitely saved you some money because you ain't going out doing anything. Um, yeah, I mean, there's all of our fast food rest the drive throughs and stuff are open it's just one of those things to where and you know and maybe it's the flipping marine in me but when you're given an order you obey it maybe it's just the marine in me i don't know but the president of the united states is the commander-in-chief the commander-in-chief is the one who runs the military and when the commander-in-chief says don't go out don't do this don't do that i don't do it that's why I haven't went on a hunt, toy hunt in five weeks. That's why I haven't been to a Walmart or a Target or Box Lunch, Hot Topic, any of those things. But I've been ordering some stuff online. <laughs> so, uh, if you leave right after the stream, you can have a 20 pack of minis or 10 sandwiches or two. What? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and, and the thing about it is, I mean, it's like my routine is, you guys probably heard me say it, but I get up in the morning, go to work, I stay in my office until I leave, back stairwell, car, home. That's it. You know, like I said, I went to Lowe's this morning, 6 a.m., me and Kim, mask, gloves, and I think we were the only... Uh, the only people in Lowe's this morning, we got in, got her stuff out straight home. Um, Kim, she uh, she goes to the grocery store on you know Thursdays, in, out, home. So, but yeah, but I have ordered some stuff. I do have uh, so what we'll talk about. Got about three four minutes left. So uh, finally, my. My Marvel Wave that I ordered has came out of quarantine. So I'm going to be unboxing that. Uh, and then I'm going to do review videos on that whole wave. Um, and talk about those because it's some really cool figures. I also got some really cool stuff that I got coming. Uh, some, uh, got some, I just got, got two figures. I picked them up this morning. I also got a box from uh, Luke. No, wait a minute. Who did I get that box from? I'm sorry. I just had a complete brain fade. I forgot who I got that box from. So that should be coming out uh, probably by Tuesday. Um, yeah. Then we got some. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be working on the helmet and show you guys. That'll be like part two video of that. So we got content coming. It's just no hunts. So. Hopefully you guys are enjoying what's uh, what I've been putting out here lately. Uh, I know the YouTube algorithm has not. 
<laughs> so uh, other than that, I hope hope you guys enjoy it. But the uh, the algorithm is not not digging it at all. Uh, if I get two hundred views, I feel like that's a good day. <laughs> Oh, but you got to have fun. You got to have fun. And I don't do this for the algorithm. I do it because I enjoy doing the videos. Um, Ryder, you know what? Yeah. I'm, at the end of the day, I don't see much for sporting events at all for the rest of this year. Uh, Jeanette, I had one planned, but it is literally going to be pouring rain all day tomorrow if for some miracle it does not rain i actually did have an easter toy hunt video i was gonna get kim to go hide some stuff and i was actually gonna go out and do a hunt video so but as of right now it's going to be raining all it's going to start late this afternoon uh and then go all the way through through tomorrow um Dang, we got 60 in here? Wow, I didn't even look. Uh, oh, I will tell you this. There will be a, hopefully, fingers crossed, there will be another magnet hunting video coming up this week because me and Kim, we're actually going to go out this afternoon. Um, we're going to go to a, a spot. It's very secluded. We're going to uh, try some magnet fishing. So we're going to make, I think we're going to try to make a little competition out of it. She's going to have a magnet. I'm going to have one. We're going to see who uh who picks up something cool but hopefully that'll happen but guys as of right now i appreciate y'all hanging out with me this morning um thank you for helping me decide on the eyes for alpha and jeanette thank you so much for this this pop i love it it's amazing and i have to remember i'm gonna do it right now because you guys know if you send me something Right here, it's going in the box. Boom, right there. A little note. I keep the notes. Boom. It's right there with Alpha. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be out there to today and get some photos of her. But, guys, I uh, hope you all have a great rest of the day. I'm going to head out and go plant some tomatoes and some squash and cucumbers and some other stuff in the garden and work on a wheelbarrow and do some photos and just enjoy the time with my wife out in this beautiful day. So hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Hope you have a great rest of the week and happy Easter to each and every one of y'all tomorrow. I know it's going to be rough with families, but FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, do something create something, have some fun. Well, that's what we're going to do. But I wish you all a wonderful and happy Easter. And uh, I think we're going to do the three pack again on Tuesday, um, which I think is really cool. I enjoyed that last Tuesday. So uh, don't know who's hosting it yet. It might be Jetta again. It might be me. It might be Kent. I don't know who else. I don't know who's going to host it. We'll figure that out. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the therapy table for today. Always remember, toys, Funko Pops, and everything in your collection refreshes your soul, and I'll see you next time.